Hi, I'm Ryan Dorman with Remax. How are you? I'm here with Tim with Sinlon. Tim, can you share with us more about your exhibit here and your company? Well, obviously what we do is synthetic turf and uh, we have a styling variety for just about every application. Our uh, two big things that we do are uh, uh, golf areas for people, uh, home putting surfaces, and uh, a lot of our business is residential. We do uh, work uh, for pet areas. Uh, people have uh, smaller yards these days, uh, bigger dogs, and so uh, their lawns get torn up. Um, is this some of your material here, or is yep, this the we different? Get, we got uh, all sorts of materials. Okay. Uh, and, and a lot of it's a variation on a theme, but they, they all have kind of different purposes and different styles for different looks. People like, some people think greener looks more real, some people think browner looks more real. So, you know, we try to cover the bases, uh, but they're specifically made for the different types of applications. Uh, the one we're standing on, uh, this is our most popular one. It's an Augustine X47, and it's made specifically for pets and okay. also for play areas. And the reason that it uh, is set up that way is that most all the things have holes in the back of it, so it drains. Okay. And the ones that are made specifically for pets have more drain holes. Okay, so, so that can go, okay, makes sense. Right, right. Uh, and so basically what happens is if you want some uh, turf done in your yard, uh, you uh, we come in, figure out how much you need, we get a price together, uh, and then uh, we come in, we take off the top layer of dirt, we contour it if necessary, we fill if necessary, and we put uh, gravel down, compact that really tight, and then we put a finishing gravel on top of that so it's nice and smooth, and this installs over it. Uh, different ways that they do that. If it voids out in the yard, we can use staples or nails to hold it down. Yeah. Uh, if it's along a fence line or okay. concrete or something, uh, we usually put in treated lumber and uh, screw some, it to it. So uh, it stays nice and tight. Here's some more of your your work here. Yes, this is all of our work. Uh, this is a, a, a obviously a, a fairly expansive uh, uh, putting green. And I believe this is going to be a before and after. You can see what uh, we've had to dig down, and you can see the board we put along there. And there it is when all the, okay. all the work is done. Very nice. So, okay. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, one of my main concerns is that uh, we're working more towards commercial, and uh, we're kind of a project manager for that. Uh, we're trying to get, uh, you know, with the, the new things, of things going up, they, they're, and uh, especially, like I said, the Carmel area or downtown where they're apartments, apartments. I saw one of them with the with the apartment. Sure. So rooftops and rooftops. courtyards. They, you know, you, it's hard to bring a lawnmower into a courtyard or on a rooftop. To yeah. Keep it dead. Not to mention that's just one more added. Uh, water and grass. You don't need yeah. to water this. Uh, what no, about no this golf course here? Tell me yeah. about. Well, this is at the, the Indianapolis Children's Museum. We did the uh, whole uh, the play experience there on the oh. north side of the building. Uh, not only has the putt-putt course, but it also has, uh, you can kind of see, oh, no, that's, oh, no, that's the Children's Museum down there, too. Uh, but, uh, they, they, you know, they put in a, a football area and a baseball oh, wow. area and a so soccer area for everyone to enjoy. Yeah, that's great. Well, um, are, and this is, is this like a full golf course made of this material or? Actually, that right it's, there, if I'm not mistaken, this fellow here, Dave Peltz. Now, I'm not a big, huge yeah. golfer guy. Okay. But Dave Peltz is uh, apparently the uh, expert of uh, short game and putting and chipping uh, golf expert. And so he and Tom Watson, who's in this other picture, uh, actually helps us uh, develop and uh, implement, uh, you know, the, how our grass works and how the turf is all done. Uh, to help us so professional golfers can actually do it. And if I'm not mistaken, that's his yard. Okay. Uh, yeah. And the, the, the three round things is uh, actually for target practice, where he tries uh, target to practice. And, and try to hit a specific area. Oh, uh, okay. So that's why they're, they're made that way. Yeah, look, you see these at shopping centers and. Sure. Um, that's uh, up at Hamilton's house. Top Center. Golf? What about Top Golf? Is uh, we, I don't believe we did Top Golf. Okay, that's okay. Uh, but right across yeah. the street is a, a guy, Barla, uh, uh, he's a golf pro and has a golf simulator. That's another big thing that we've been uh, recently doing is golf simulators in basements because, you know, technology yeah. has come a long way where you can actually uh, yeah. swing pretty good in, a, this, in a, a golf course. Yeah, or in a, I mean, in your golf basement. tech or something. Yeah, yeah something so okay. there's a lot of different things. Uh, but uh, like I said, it's about, uh, you know, it's... It, Artificial turf has come a really, really long way from uh, the old days of uh, indoor-outdoor carpets. Uh, yeah, um, so 
Uh, how do they call you at this number here? 430-1521 or is that yep, 317? That would get us. Okay. Well, thank you for uh, educating us on this. Not a problem. It was okay. nice. Okay.